Hey, how you doing? Today we're going to take a look at one of the trippiest open source modules I've ever made. The Visualizer. Visualizer. If you're a millennial like me, then you probably grew up watching the crazy Windows screensavers like Pipes, or watching the wild visual FX while listening to pirated music on Winamp. Uh, what a simpler time it was. I basically took inspiration from those visual FX and decided to try and create my own visualizer so I could watch some crazy shapes and patterns move in time with the sounds of the patch, basically turning the entire synth project into a true audio-visual experience. So taking a look at the module, we first see the big TFT color screen where the visuals are displayed. We then have an encoder below the screen so we can change between different visual types contained within two banks. Turning the encoder changes between different visual types with pushing and turning changing the bank. Our first bank contains a series of these weird string ball looking things. And our second bank is using sets of circles. I basically created these visuals by using the trig functions contained within the Arduino environment. On the left, we have five knobs and CV inputs with each controlling a different parameter of the visual, such as the shape, size, and position. On the right, we then have three gate inputs. A clock input, which changes the colours of the visual for each gate pulse. Then an input each for the visual and bank, which will move through each with the gate pulse. Down the bottom, we then have two switches. One to invert the colours of the screen so we have a white background instead of black making it easier to see in brightly lit environments. And the other switch is to select between the auto or manual modes. The manual mode is where we can adjust each of the visual's parameters individually, as we've seen so far. But if we set it to auto mode, then every parameter of the visual will be adjusted at the same time using the last control down here. The idea here is to run an entire patch or song through an envelope follower so that we can see the visual moving in time with the music. Alright, so now that we have an idea of how the visualizer works, let's see it in action with a patch. Basically, any source of modulation can be sent into the visualizer to adjust the pattern's parameters. So I've set up a patch with a few different things going on so that we can really get a feel for what the visualizer can do. We first have an audio path made up of the chords ran through the filter and FX unit to provide some delay, with the mixing unit providing a bit of reverb. Then I have the BPM clock controlling a few different things. The first output is controlling the drum sequencer to provide some background rhythm, with the kick, snare and hi-hat. The fourth output is sent to the Turing machine to provide some random voltage, which is malted and sent to three destinations. The CV control on the triangle wave LFO, whose output is moving the filters cut off up and down, as well as the visualizer's first parameter. The inversion input on the chords, to change the arrangement of the notes within the chord, and finally the visualizer's second parameter. The fifth output is being sent to an envelope generator, which is being malted and sent to the filters cut off as well, and controlling the visualizer's third parameter. The sixth output is sent to the visualizer's clock input, so that we see the colour changing every second or so. And finally, the seventh output is sent to another envelope generator, whose output is changing the position of the visual on the screen in a diagonal direction. As you can see, the pattern on the screen is going pretty crazy, as it moves in time with the modulation contained within the patch. So let's get some close-ups of the screen, and go through a few different visual types, so that we can see just how trippy this module really can be.
As you just saw, this module can make some pretty wild moving patterns when we have enough modulation being fed into it. As mentioned earlier though, we can also run the entire patch through an envelope follower and use the modulation to control the visualizer in auto mode. So let's move a few things around and see how the visualizer reacts to the sounds of the patch in auto mode. So I now have all of the audio paths being mixed together up here on the drum mixer, then being sent to another vault, with one output going into the mixing desk so that we can hear the patch, and the other into the envelope follower to provide some modulation for the visualizer. So I'll do the same thing again and go through a few different visual types so that we can see how the visualizer reacts in auto mode. So I think it's pretty fair to say that this module can get incredibly wild. It's hard not to get sucked in for ages just staring at the screen as the patterns move around doing their thing. Just like the BPM clock, the visualizer is also completely open source. So if you would like to modify the code and create your own visuals, then you're completely welcome to do so. I would actually love to see just what kind of madness other people could create with this module. So you can find all of the code in the schematics at the link just down here. If you would like to support the channel however, I am also selling sets of PCBs for $40, which come fully supplied with all the schematics and build drawings. You will need to source your own components however, but everything can be found for a reasonable price, either online or at your local electronics retailer. So with all that being said, that's it for today's video, until next time, I'll see you later.